Lots of people think they can just buy a license for Microsoft 365 and that's all the business needs. But there are five hidden costs to Microsoft 365 that every business owner should seriously consider. And that is the topic for today's video. If you've not been here before, my name is Jonathan Edwards and I'm a business IT consultant from Yorkshire in the UK. I help businesses with their IT support and the cyber security. There's something that I hear quite a lot when I talk to business owners. They think if they buy a cloud solution like Microsoft 365, all they need to do is move the data into it and it takes all of their IT pain away. Now, Microsoft 365 really is a great product and it saves you having to buy servers, infrastructure, you don't have to worry about it working all the time, but there are still lots of things that you need to consider for security and compliance. Microsoft don't offer the complete solution for you or your business. And that's what today's video is all about. So get yourself a cup of tea, strap yourself in, and let's get started. The first thing that you need to consider is email security. Now every business needs something that sits in front of Microsoft 365 to prevent dangerous emails landing into your mailbox. Lots of people still refer to this as a spam filter. Now back in the day we used to receive lots of spam emails. Emails offering us weight loss pills or other kinds of pills to enhance performance. Things have moved on a little bit since then. But according to a recent survey, 91% of all cyber attacks start with a phishing email. Now that start is absolutely huge. A phishing email is when a scammer sends you an email enticing you to click on a link or download an attachment. When you click on the link, it might ask you for some personal information, maybe your username or your password or your credit card information. If you download the attachment, it will infect your computer with malware. All of these phishing emails are intended to eventually steal money from you or your business. Now getting your email address isn't difficult to do. It might be available on social media, on your business website, or people can actually buy email addresses in bulk. So these scammers have a direct link to your mailbox where they can try and eventually steal money from you. Now lots of people think that if you are using Microsoft 365, it provides you with all the security that you need. But most companies just use 365 out of the box and that unfortunately doesn't provide you with much security so if you are using 365 in that way you are leaving yourself wide open for a phishing attack so what's the answer well you do absolutely need an email security product to protect your Microsoft 365 now Microsoft themselves have one it's called Microsoft Defender for 365 but it's a bolt-on it's an additional cost per month now I'm a firm believer when it comes to IT security to leave it to companies who specialize in IT security. They don't do anything else. We recommend a partner called Sophos, they're one of the world's leading IT security businesses and they've got an email security product called Sophos Email Gateway. Now you can buy this for about two or three pounds per mailbox per month and it will provide your 365 with the email security it needs. But it is a hidden cost. Now the second hidden cost is backup. And yes, you did hear me right, I'm talking about backup. So many people think that if you have your data in Microsoft 365, that you no longer need to worry about backup. And unfortunately, that isn't true. Now as part of your 365 license, Microsoft provide all of the infrastructure. They'll make sure that it works all the time. They'll provide all the servers. They'll make sure that everything is kept up to date. But Microsoft don't cover you for everything and they make it absolutely clear in their license agreement, which I'm sure we've all read, uh, that you need a third party backup for the 365 system. So as a business, you absolutely need a backup for 365. It is the most sensible way to protect against accidental, malicious file deletion, ransomware, or data corruption. Now, third party backup plans for 365 aren't very expensive. Again, it's about two or three pounds per mailbox per month. But again, it's a hidden cost that you need to consider. 
I've got a separate video on my YouTube channel all about backing up your 365. So after this one, go ahead and watch it. So my third hidden cost is email archiving. Now, surely you're thinking that email archiving is just the same as backup. Well, no, it's not. Archiving and backup are two very different products. Let me explain how. An email archive provides your business with a copy of every email that is sent or received from your organization. It's completely separate from people's mailboxes. So you could have someone who deleted an email from the mailboxes, but that email would still be available in the archive. So why would you need email archiving? Well, usually it's for compliance. My IT company look after a lot of accountants, law firms and businesses in the financial services industry. They're required to keep data for a certain length of time. Important emails, documents, legal documents. The most effective way to do this is by getting an email archiving solution. If you don't have an email archiving solution in place, then you're given the responsibility to keep an email to certain individuals. If they delete emails from their mailbox, then eventually it'll be lost forever. So why wouldn't a Microsoft 365 backup be sufficient for this purpose? Well, let's have a look at what a backup is. A backup returns a file or a system to a state that it existed in previously. You might do something like delete a Word document, so you need to restore it to yesterday's date. Or you might get ransomware and you might need to restore your whole computer system to a previous day. Backups you usually keep for a certain length of time, sometimes it's three months, sometimes it's a year. But once that backup has been overwritten, it's gone forever. So to see how powerful email archiving is, let's have a look at this scenario. You are required to produce an email that was sent from your legal department to an important customer on the 7th of June 2007. Now an email backup would probably be useless in this situation, but with an email archive, we could probably pluck that email out in just a few minutes. Now, as I said at the outset, lots of businesses who need to archive emails for compliance used to adopt the archiving solution. But what we've seen recently over the last few years is lots of other businesses also have email archiving because it's sensible. Email is such a key communication tool and we need to track what's coming in and out of our businesses. But again, it's a hidden cost and it's something that you need to consider as part of your Microsoft 365. Now, the next hidden cost of Microsoft 365 is email encryption. Now, email was invented in the 1970s as a simple communication tool. It was never really designed with security in mind. Now, whilst email security has moved on since the 1970s, it's still not something we would describe as being a secure tool. Now, sending an email is a little bit like posting a letter. You write the letter, you put a stamp on it, and you put it into the post box. But you are relying on other people to deliver that letter for you. Your hope is that it gets the intended recipient without anyone opening or reading that letter. The same is true with email, but most businesses are still using email as a communication tool to send personal and highly confidential information. It's just not a secure way to do it. So what is the answer? Well, the answer is email encryption. Now with email encryption, when you send your email, it will scramble every Everything up and the email will stay scrambled up encrypted along its journey across the internet when it reaches the mailbox of the intended user it will unscramble and the person will be able to see the information this is known as end-to-end -end encryption so even if a hacker intercepted that email on its journey across the internet he wouldn't be able to see any of the contents because everything will be encrypted and scrambled up Again, if you want to use email encryption on 365, you need to subscribe to one of the enterprise products. It's another hidden cost. Email encryption is also available by using various portals with other providers. Again, we recommend Sophos who have an encryption package, but again, it's a hidden cost of 365. My fifth hidden cost of 365 is cybersecurity training. Now, I think today, if you give people access to an email system without the right training, it's a bit like giving access to a power tool without safety information. Maybe not that bad, but still, people need to be trained on cybersecurity. 
Now this is what I mean. Cyber attacks have got so sophisticated. The problem is the people who are using the computers haven't been trained how to deal with modern day cyber attacks. So these cyber criminals are having a field day. They're stealing thousands of pounds from us. Now the answer is really simple. As a business owner, you have to provide your team with the tools to be able to defend themselves against these cyber crimes. Now, when I talk about cyber training, I don't mean sending people on week-long seminars four times a year. The cybersecurity training that my IT company offers its customers takes just three to four minutes per week. These are just bite-sized bit of chunks and people can get a lot of value from them. Again, cybersecurity training isn't difficult, but you've got to provide it to your team members. There are lots of companies who provide really good cloud-based cybersecurity training. There's no before and the Sophos fish threat. Now, what scenario would you prefer? Would you rather spend 100 or 150 pounds a month on cybersecurity training or lose 25,000 pounds in a phishing attack? I know which one I prefer. So that is another hidden cost of 365. So let's summarize the five hidden costs of using Microsoft 365. You can actually buy an email account with 365 called Exchange Online Plan 1 for just three pounds per month. But then when you consider the email security at two to three pounds, you've got your 365 backup at two to three pounds. You might have email archiving at three to five pounds. You might have email encryption at two to three pounds per month. And finally, cyber security training at two to three pounds per month. Suddenly, your three pound email account ends up costing you 15 to 20 pounds per month. But these tools are absolutely essential to protect your business from cyber crime and ensure that you're compliant. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'll see you again soon.